Hello everyone. Today we have with us Vivek sir. Sir, you say that the protection laws that are out there for minorities and for women are often misused than actually used by people who need them. So why do you hold such a uh, view? Some even might consider it a bit controversial. So Thank how would you defend yourself here? See, Garima, once again, it comes from the practical experiences mm -hmm. and then some facts which are published mm -hmm. in the newspapers. So, you know, there was a report published about two years back and that is when there was a big change which happened. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not a lawyer, I don't remember the exact law, but there is an anti-domestic violence law. I don't remember for 98 or 504A. And the law was made about seven, eight years back and the law ensured that if a woman complains against her in-laws, or relatives of even relatives of in-laws there's an immediate arrest without bail and the report clearly said that eventually 90 percent of the cases were found to be wrong mm -hmm. or false 90 percent so that is a fact that i told right similarly in this era of me too campaign mm -hmm. uh, there has been reports that out of 100 sexual harassment cases put up by the female employees more than 80 percent has found to be false and similarly, there was another act about two months back in news called SCST Act, the protection for SCST. Once again, when you go by the actual complaints of that act, you will realize that majority of those uh, complaints have been found to be false. Now, why does it happen? And to, let me just quickly go back to the background. And I always say the laws are needed because when you go around India and you have an observatory eye, you can understand that when you go to small towns, uh, how or actually villages how the few, few people who we call it SCSTs or in those community they are really uh, you know they are really kept away or they are really uh, are not treated in the nice manner by the upper caste people it's a fact there is no doubt about that similarly th there are majority of the women who gets harassed for dowry and who are get who get harassed for domestic violence day in day out that is also a fact so now where is the problem where you know i just need people to think and maybe the government if they can listen to this video the problem happens that the audience or people who really need these laws are not able to use them maybe because of fear maybe because of lack of knowledge or any other reasons so women who really need these laws whose husbands are actually beating them day in day out in village areas or semi-urban areas or rural areas or few part of urban areas they hardly put any complaints for that they choose to stay they choose quiet. to stay quiet or mm -hmm. they look at every other thing in perspective and maybe they realize that this is the best for me to move on because mm -hmm. sadly most of these women are people who are really dependent financially, financially, financially to the in-laws similarly those are, those scsts who are working in rural areas or uh, village areas they are mostly dependent upon their daily livelihood, livelihood on upper class people so they work in their houses mm -hmm. or in their fields so maybe they have to listen to this and for them these laws were created but what actually happened is that these laws are actually used by mostly progressive urban population mm -hmm. and then these laws are not used they are misused and as i said i have seen personally i have seen with happening with friends you talk about scst laws you have a you, you hire somebody from this background in your team mm -hmm. and the person is not at all performing but the person is smart and he knows these laws mm -hmm. if you try to you know tell him about his performance or her performance and you try to give him or her a stern warning about the performance i have seen people coming back to the boss alone and telling them boss next time you have to deal with me this is my performance level and criteria if you speak anything further too much i am going to put up a scst act complaint against you that you have called me in your room and you have put up a derogatory word for me and then you would be in the jail this entire company would be in trouble mm -hmm. so if you want to avoid that just bear with me i have seen people doing this thing exactly similarly coming to women laws as i said the facts have proven both in houses and in offices i have seen people uh, low performing women especially uh, misusing this law completely and telling the bosses that i am not able to work as per expectations i know it you have to bear with me there should not be any firing if you will go to that route, I will not mind going to the route of sexual harassment cases. Because you don't need to prove anything. Right? You just have to put up a case. And if you put up a case, things go wrong for the boss and for the entire company. Because the media would be running mm -hmm. after that company in houses. 
the law was so weak that uh, a woman just have to go to a police station and say this 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 and this person has harassed me or dowry without any investigation without anything else there is a immediate arrest and i have again seen people you no know, it, it has happened with my batchmate let me tell you so it is absolutely personal thing where his wife tell him dares him day in day out that you have to follow me like a dog otherwise you and your entire family would be in jail and then there are thousands of other cases mm-hmm. where the married women are making the use of this law to completely in, in their favor to harass in laws and getting things done completely on their own way and uh, if something somebody speaks something you are in trouble mm-hmm. well, i have seen upper middle, middle class families garima now avoiding marriages mm-hmm. for their kids for their sons okay. because you don't know what kind of daughter in law can come oh. and you will realize that you were thinking something else mm-hmm. but you were entire families in jail mm-hmm. similarly in offices you know now i am at least i am i am over conscious to hire female staff because of these reasons that you have seen this and it dots in your own eyes mm-hmm. and then you wonder that whether should i take take this chance or not mm-hmm. whether i am more comfortable by hiring a male employee at least with this i don't have to think about these things mm-hmm. similarly as cst i uh, i am trying to avoid mm-hmm. hiring those people because i really don't know what can happen in future this kind of fear atmosphere has been created by too much of stringent laws thankfully supreme court at least deleted that law for women and there is no no immediate arrest they try to do the same thing for a cst but then the government of india has passed the ordinance because ordinance because of the political mm-hmm. pressure and now it's again immediate arrest just think a guy can just go to a police station and say this particular guy has, has told me or uh, by this name one word and you are in jail mm-hmm. such kind of law is there so people who actually in the, know the power of this law as per the facts as per the observations it is mostly misused than used mm-hmm. and that's why i make this statement mm-hmm. i know that people who are on the other side of table will not enjoy it or like it to hear mm-hmm. but i always say ki i challenge look at the court cases look at the facts from the court cases that how many cases have eventually been proven false which is more than 80% mm-hmm. that the case was completely false and uh, but the guy is let out the person is let out after 2 3 5 years but their life is already completely spoiled mm-hmm. so that's why for me there is a serious there is a time to seriously mm-hmm. relook into these matters the problem in india is both are such a big vote banks be it minority be it scst be it women there no political party wants to take a stand which are against them mm-hmm. and that's why i always say ultimately is the hindu Another category, male person in India mm-hmm. who is driving this entire country, mm-hmm. who is taking the burden of these entire other people mm-hmm. on his shoulders to survive and thrive, families as well as the country. Thank you for watching, everyone.